Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. If you haven't been here before, my name is Karen. I'm the Junk Journal Geek. And I'm here today to do a flip through of this spring summer journal that I've been working on. Um, and there is a playlist for all the um, videos I've done in this series. So I will try and remember to leave that in the comments below. Um, but I think she's finished. <laughs> Um, the Eagle Eyed Amongst You, if you have watched um, any of the previous episodes, may have noticed that the cover has changed. So I will explain about all of that as I go along. Um, but in the meantime, how are you all? I hope you are all happy and well. And if you can hear that noise, I'm just rummaging to show you the original cover I made. So this was the one I did on camera with you all. And... When it was finished, I just decided it was too big for the pages. You can it's, there's not much in it, but there is already a gap um, around the edges of this book. You can see, so it was just too much with this. wasn't happy with the way it turned out, so I remade it slightly smaller and I did it slightly differently. You can see that I've sandwiched the envelope between the two layers of. <clears throat> fabric the same as I did before but instead of wrapping the fabric around the edge I've left it open finished it with the pinking shears and then just stitched all the way around and it's slightly smaller and it just feels better for this particular journal I also intended to put lace along this edge but I haven't done it don't think it needs it but I'm undecided there's a few things in here that I may go back and add a bit more on, but um, I think it's finished. <laughs> so on the this was made from um, an Amazon delivery envelope. Um, as I say, it's then sandwiched between these two layers of upholstery fabric, and then that's all been stitched around. Then the topper is made from some corrugated cardboard. I've got a bit of um, an old net curtain here um this piece in the middle was some pre-made ephemera that i had made um some time ago tops trimmed with lace there's a little butterfly added on there with this um i just stitched through that and left the cotton to be pretend antennae and then the little book plate on the front says memories and I've punched holes in the cover, added some eyelets, and then just used a piece of ribbon as the closure. So let's open her up. She measures in total about nine and three quarters by just under seven, probably say six and three quarters and I think there's 44 pages in total but I could be wrong so inside the front cover um, I just stuck a piece of card in the back here I made this um, this is like a faux window envelope so I just layered up some tissue paper with some packaging paper and then I cut this aperture stuck a piece of um, clear packaging in the middle as a window and then stuck the whole thing again onto some more packaging paper to sandwich the film so that this doesn't catch when it's going in and out and then I stitched that all the way around um, popped a little butterfly on there and then I just made this journal card to go on the inside and this is I haven't mentioned the kit, have I? This kit is called Yellow and Blue Bonanza. This whole thing was a design team project for Sunny Creates. Um, and the papers, I've left quite a lot of this undecorated, you'll see as I go through, because the papers were so beautiful. Um, you know, they worked on their own. So that's just, as I say, some paper from the kit. That goes in there and the little tab at the, tab at the top is some more of this. Um, net curtain 
Then inside, um, I made this with you. This was um, the, I can't even remember what, it, what we called it now, but that's this piece that goes on the cover because it was too bulky to go inside. Um, and inside it's just like fabric sample, um, you know, a packet of fabric samples I've popped in there. Um, and then on the flap, I just stuck a little butterfly to decorate it and I stuck this um, rose charm. It's not a charm, is it? Just a trim on top, just to help hold that down, you know, just a bit of weight on there to hold it down. And then, aren't these papers beautiful? Just absolutely gorgeous. I stuck this little bird on here just for decoration, I believe. That's from the Graphics Fairy. Um, and in here, because I sewed through all these pages, including this Chunky Monkey and the cover, I did struggle a little bit. So um, where, the, where it was really obvious, I've just added some um, washi tape just to give it a little bit of help. So this is a pocket that comes with the kit and in there I have popped um, just a little journal card that I've made from the kit and this little paper bag. There's nothing in there at the moment but I might be adding something. Um, this was sent to me in Happy Mail from Claire at Purple Poppy. So that's in there. Then on this page we have a pocket this was I believe I made this yes I did this was the folded um, junk mail envelope that we made so it gives you one two three little pockets here and I just stitched around it um, these little pieces of ephemera are from the kit but I printed some two to a page to make little tiny mini envelopes <laughs> Um, so that's one of those and a tag just tucked in the front there. Then these library cards are backed onto um, just some, um, this was heavy packaging paper. And these are also from Sunny Creates, but they are, are, they're a freebie, I believe on her Kofi site. So that's in there. And then this is just from the kit backed it onto packaging paper, stitched round, added an eyelet and some lace. So that goes in there. I say I've left some of the pages blank so that whoever gets this journal can, you know, put their own stamp on it. They can stick things on or, um, you know, write or whatever. So this was the belly band we made from the tickets that came with the kit. And then I've just tucked in there um, a page from the kit that's printed on both sides and that just tucks in there so that can be used you know to as journaling space or it can be cut up and used throughout the journal. Um, I managed to match this butterfly up fairly well I mentioned I was trying to do. This was one of the um, coin envelopes that we made together and that's just held in with a paper clip with a little bit of ribbon on top and then this is another pocket from the kit with a tag from the kit again that's backed and then this is from the kit but I've just literally left it as it is so that the recipient can do with it what they will so they just tuck in there uh, this butterfly, um, I believe that's from the Digital Collage Club. That's just stuck down as a bit of decoration. And just behind it, um, I've added that some of that um, yarn that I used in one of the ephemerembers, um, you know, as seaweed. I had a little bit lying around left over, so I just popped that behind the butterfly to be his antennae. Again, more blank pages. This is stuck down as a tuck spot. Um, and then it's just a page. Again, I believe that's from the Graphics Fairy. On the other side, 
I've printed some of my tea dyed paper. So there's plenty of journaling space there and you can tuck more things in there. That's just a bit of decoration up there. This is the center of the signature and um, I've just tied it in a bow so that, you know, whoever uses it, whoever gets it can just untie the bow and snip those off or they can add dangles or they can leave it as it is. This is, um, again, just from the kit, backed onto some junk mail and then packaging paper on the back, stitched round, and that's held in with another um, fancy paper clip. Nothing on here. And then again, this is a pocket from the kit with some more pieces from the kit. Again, I've left that one completely unadorned so you can do what you like with it this one is backed onto packaging paper and stitched around this is from the kit this is an envelope but again i haven't sealed it down so you can either use it as journaling space or you can stick it down yourself and use it as an envelope and that's just paper clipped in over the page another good job lining up the butterfly <laughs> this we made together and then I made um, the journal card to slip in there so that it looks like you're looking through the window into somebody's bedroom there and they've got a clock on the wall I know it's not you know to scale but that's what we do with junk journals isn't it this was um, the handle from a gift bag. I just took, uh, the gift bag was torn, so I just took the ribbon out. I left the bits on the end because I just thought it worked. And then in here is just a journal card with some more journaling space that just tucks in the back there. And then this slips in up here. And then all these pieces that are um, decorating this envelope if you didn't see me make it these are all bits that I've fussy cut from the kit pages just to add some decoration this is the other one of those window or the junk mail envelopes that I made so there's another tag behind there backed onto junk mail and then with book, uh, packaging paper and stitched round another one of the library cards again they're on um, the Sunny Creates Kofi site and another couple of little pieces tucked in there then here we have another pocket from the kit and again that's backed onto packaging paper and stitched round this is a little file folder that came with the kit I've just lined it with some packaging paper and left it for, you know, whoever wants to do whatever with it. And this is a postcard. I think that is from, oh, can't remember the name. It's from an Etsy shop. I will link it in the description below. It'll come back to me in a minute, I'm sure. Uh, another blank page just with some um, decoration stuck on and then we're to the back so this is the other half of that front piece so we made this bit together where I stuck on all these little tabs so you've got places to write little notes they all flip out so there's lots of journaling space there and I wasn't happy with the way they were laying so I went back afterwards and added on this tag from the kit to hold it down and again it was still a bit flappy so I glued on this button I've just tied um, through some of the waxed linen thread that I've used to bind the journal and then stuck the button down so that just gives that a bit of weight to hold it down and then on the other side is the window pocket um, and this is the journal card I made so this side is just paper from the kit and I've added this little chap on here because I just thought he looked nice and on the other side this is a 
doily that I received in Happy Mail. I've just added some gold to it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. The shiny gold. There's a little bit of gold here and there throughout this journal. And then I just stuck this picture on the front and one of the tabs from the kit in there. So when you slide, well, when you take this out, you can see the little birdies. And when you slide it back in, it looks like, you know, a vase on the window, sill through the window. And then here, um, I watched, again, it slipped to my mind. I'll link the video below. I watched a video where the, a, this was a similar idea, this stack of envelopes. Um, so I've put my own spin on it and sort of done a double stack. Um, so these little ones, again, this is, these are from the kit, but these are printed half size. So this one opens up completely to give you some journaling space. Then the next one behind is one of those, one of the um, coin envelopes that flips up and that is made into a coin envelope. And there's a little tag in there with so that we've got more journaling space. Then this one is the same. It opens up. I've got bits everywhere in this, haven't I? This opens up for more journaling space and it is all tatty and raggedy, you know, I like that. It is supposed to be a junk journal. Another of the coin envelopes behind it with another, that's just got a slip of paper inside for more journaling space. I should have made, I should have um, altered these envelopes to give a little, boy, a little bit more in and out room, but it's proper, it does come out, I promise but it is proper secret journaling space, isn't it? It'd be better if I had nails to grab hold of this. So that's just literally a piece of paper from the kit that slides in there with more journaling space. It does slide in, I promise. <laughs> but you have to get it right in, otherwise you can't close the um, envelope back up. And it's not gonna go in, is it? Because I'm on camera, so I'll do that again in a minute. You saw it was in there, it does go. Then this one, again, flips up let's pop those back down that flips up this opens up completely so you've got even more journaling space and then this is just a journaling card that I've made from the kit backed onto some junk mail and then lined with the packaging paper and that just pops in there and then they all just fold back down again like that like that to make them interesting and in the back here I've just popped um, a couple of little tags and another little envelope that has been stuck oh I'm off camera aren't I sorry that has been stuck together so you could tuck something secret in there if you wanted to and that just all pops back in there and that's the end of the journal so I hope you have enjoyed this series I'm sorry it's taken me so long to um get it finished as I say I may go back and do a little bit more of this but I do think it is finished if anybody's interested in the journal um, let me know I may at some point pop it up on um, either my Kofi or buy me a coffee sites or whatever I'm not sure yet um, but say so if anybody's interested in purchasing it it doesn't have a home as yet so you'd be more than welcome to claim it um, not sure what I'm moving on to next. I've got about three journals on the go that I need to finish. So I might be making some ephemera for those with you. Um, I do not, I do have another kit to play with from Sunny Creates. So I'm looking forward to getting started with that as well. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, enjoy your own crafty time and I'll be back with you all again as soon as I possibly can. Take care. Bye bye.